Uh, it states here that American citizens will be rounded up without warrants and imprisoned without trial for God knows how long. It states that these camps have been equipped to carry out Hitler-scale killings, an actual purge of American citizens by the very government which they themselves created and pay for. ICE agent's suicide note is now revealing government plans to round up and disarm Americans during a time of future economic and bank collapse. According to Superstation 95 FM out of New York, they're reporting some very deeply troubling news, but nothing awake Americans don't already know. Yes, they disclose that after writing a lengthy suicide note exposing terrifying plans that the government has for American citizens, a U.S. Customs agent walked onto a pier in New York City and blew his brains out. Sources inside the New York City Police Department have revealed to Superstation 95 the contents of his suicide note that was found on his body, and they are frightening. The note outlines why the officer chose to shoot himself. Quote, this is the words of his note. The America I grew up in and cherished has been murdered by its own federal government. Our Constitution has become meaningless. Our laws politicized so badly they are no longer enforced except for political purposes. The note continued, Our elected officials are, to a person, utterly corrupt and completely devoid of any love or respect for the country which pays them. To them, everything is about getting and keeping power and making illicit money from backroom deals. Now, the 42-year-old U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement deportation officer shot himself with a 40 caliber service pistol inside Pier 40 on the Hudson River Park at around 11 a.m. Apparently, a source at the scene described that the officer calmly walked into the park, took out his pistol, and shot himself in the head. Now, the suicide note, the officer revealed what he claimed are terrifying plans that the feds have been finalizing, and I have actually been tracking these very plans for many years now. Uh, made some documentary films on it as well. Uh, quote, if the American people knew what this government is planning, they would rise up and overthrow it. If I or anyone else in the federal government revealed what is coming, we would be killed anyway. So now I will reveal what I know. We in federal law enforcement have been drilling for several years to control riots and uprising from a coming financial collapse and widespread bank failure. The drills involve life-size images of American men, even women and children, whom we are told to shoot for practice and to get used to it. We've been told that the economy is terminally ill and we will fail in 2016. We are also told that the banks are insolvent and the FDIC doesn't have nearly enough funds to bail out depositors. We are told these, that these events are unavoidable, unavoidable and it is imperative that the U.S. government survive when people rise up over this. When the collapse takes place, detention camps created under the Rex 84 program in the 1980s to house illegal aliens whom uh, we're going to deport will instead be used to imprison American citizens whom the government feels constitute a threat. Wow, that's, uh, that's stuff that I've actually been covering for a long time. Rex 84, the FEMA camps, uh, you know, that whole, that whole element, the continuity of government program. Uh, it states here that American citizens will be rounded up without warrants and imprisoned without trial for God knows how long. It states that these camps have been equipped to carry out Hitler-scale killings, an actual purge of American citizens by the very government which they themselves created and pay for. And he wrote, I cannot be party to this. Wow, it's a very lengthy note, and I'm only reading part of it here. Uh, it goes on to say that the government knows the military will rise up to stop this, so our military is being deployed overseas and intentionally involved in foreign fights so, so they cannot be here to help Americans. Uh, certainly some, a frightening future painted by this suicide note, and uh, so frightening, in fact, that this agent took it upon himself to kill himself. Uh, to relieve himself of the burden that he felt 
uh, that his own job and his own participation in this program uh, placed upon him. As I have gotten older, I have decided we really need camps for adults. To the mainstream media, this is just another step in preparing for catastrophes. But to others, it's something much worse. Here's where it gets crazy. According to broadcaster Alex Jones, FEMA is a front for a secret government, and the housing locations will actually serve as quarantine centers or internment camps. This is not an unfounded fear. After all, during World War II, the U.S. forced over 100,000 Japanese Americans into government camps for the duration of the conflict. And civil unrest could be considered a domestic emergency. How would this insurrection occur? Theorists cite any number of possible causes, from the establishment of a one-world government to a national pandemic. Some believe a global elite of bankers and aristocrats may artificially create a disaster to trigger a massive incarceration of U.S. citizens who object to the plan, whatever that plan might be. Fringe researcher Mary Louise alleges that FEMA keeps a red list and a blue list, where people on the blue list will be shipped to camps for quarantine or re-education, while those on the red list will be executed. Skeptics rightly point out that this conspiracy requires an amazing, even implausible, level of organization. Also, a large natural disaster can displace hundreds of thousands of people, so building temporary housing in advance seems like a good idea. Yet there's another angle here. The U.S. already holds the world's largest prison population, with over 2 million people incarcerated. Most of the people who believe that FEMA is a cover for a mass imprisonment also believe in the Illuminati, Freemasons, or Satanic conspiracies. Sometimes, they believe in all three. The outlandish nature of some theories may make them hard to swallow, yet the facts are foreboding, even to skeptics. The federal government has indeed constructed massive housing facilities across the United States, 
from Oakdale, California to Atlanta, Georgia. Executive orders have given FEMA and other agencies increasingly broad emergency powers, even allowing the U.S. Army and Marine Corps to perform domestic operations. Theorists like Dr. John Coleman allege the focus of FEMA has steadily moved away from natural disasters to concentrate on the management of a hypothetically unruly populace. In 2003, FEMA was incorporated into the Department of Homeland Security. To most Americans, this is just another game of bureaucratic musical chairs. However, it makes perfect sense to conspiracy theorists. Before you reject this theory, take a look at the laws surrounding the Constitution, FEMA, Homeland Security, and other related agencies. Pay close attention to Rex 84, the Patriot Act extensions, Operation Garden Plot, and the executive orders that created FEMA. Conspiracy theorists think these documents are only the tip of the iceberg. The rest, for now, is stuff they don't want you to know. The end of the Republic has never looked better. Last March, DHS bought 450 million bullets, and in September, another 200 million. That's in addition to a reported 1.6 billion rounds they already have. So during the height of the Iraq War, U.S. soldiers used about 5.5 million rounds of ammunition every month. If you do the math here, that means the Department of Homeland Security has enough bullets to wage a full-scale war for the next 30 years. DHS says the bullets are needed for training, but military veteran Richard Mason is doubtful. We never trained with hollow points. We didn't even really see hollow points my entire four and a half years in the Marine Corps. Why would they need all those hollow points? This is our government buying up bullets to use against us. You know, you have true weapons of war here uh, that are being purchased. I'm Judge Andrew Napolitano here defending freedom defending your natural rights, and defending your right to have a government that stays within the confines of the Constitution. Barack Obama, what are your thoughts on the Declaration well, of Constitution? You know, I, I, I think it's a remarkable document. Uh, I think... Uh, Which one? Uh, the, the original Constitution, uh, as, well as, as well as the uh, Civil War amendments, but I think it is an imperfect document, and I think it is a document that reflects uh, some deep flaws uh, in uh, American culture. As a result of our efforts, our two nations are working together more closely across a broader range of critical issues. And our cooperation is delivering results. We demand the full implementation of all relevant UN Security Council resolutions. UN Security Council resolutions need to be fully enforced. It's time to wake up, folks. Why do you think the U.S. government is stockpiling as much ammo and weapons as it can while at the same time it's trying to take ours?